pieces of interviews which uh, form part of our Be Well teaching series. Uh, over six weeks we are looking at questions of well-being, of mental health and emotional health and today I'm really delighted uh, to be joined by Colleen uh, and Wing Sang who are part of uh, the congregation here at Crofton Parish. Um, Wing and Colleen, you joined in 2017, you came out of a ministry in, um, uh, in Worthing, and I know that as well as Colleen, you being a reader, and Wing, you being a vicar, you were also involved in a lot of pastoral work and counselling work. I think people would love to know a little bit about what you did. I think what we were interested in is to see how God brings healing yeah. into people's lives, and uh, sometimes unexpected, and it's wonderful to see that when it happens. I remember uh, we were in New Wine and uh, God's presence was real. And uh, there was a chap who was uh, being prayed for. And it was great walking amongst the people who were being prayed for and seeing God's presence. And suddenly I felt God was saying, say to him, you can cry now. And I remember thinking, he's a gentleman, very mature in his 70s. How can I walk up to him and say, you can cry now? And God says, do you want him to be healed? And so I, I just walked up to him and said, you can cry now. And I was just about to rush off when he grabbed me. And he said, I can't cry. And he just cried and cried for the next 10 minutes on my shoulder. And then afterwards he said, he was five years old when his father who had been ill was taken into the ambulance and he died in the hospital. And he was not allowed to go to the funeral. And he was told by his family, you're a big boy now, you can't cry. And he's never cried his never. whole life. Wow. And when he cried, he said, I've never experienced that grief. It was like living that. So he'd, and been, that, ho he'd been holding that his whole life. Absolutely. And in that process of crying, God just touched him. Yeah. And it was wonderful it's to wonderful. see when Thank he got healing. And I recognize, you know, God is not only in our present and our future, but also in our past. In our past yeah. And one of the things, um, Colleen, that we're exploring this morning is uh, about what it means to know, to know God's love mm. for each one of us. In your experience of working with people, how important do you think it is that people discover the love of God for themselves? It's really important that we know the love of God. And one of the things I've learned through talking with people is that actually they need to know God as a father and as a mother. Sometimes I've met people with mother issues and they need to know that God loves them like a mother, like he gathers the chicks under his wings. And other times it's father issues where they just need to know the love of God, that he's their heavenly father and can meet every need. I think I've often found that it can be the love of God that seeps into the cracks of the places that a lack of love in other areas of our lives can, can lead. Exactly. When we, we've all got some sort of parental issues usually, and some are bigger than others, but God meets every single need. And just thank you so much. And just the final question that I'm asking everybody that I'm talking to is, um, in a world where we see lots of challenges around well-being, around mental health and emotional health, um, what role do you think the local church has uh, in helping address issues of well-being, of mental health and emotional health? I think the important thing for people to know is that the church is a safe place. Yeah. And they can meet God, not only in the services, it's in one another. Yeah. It's like they, they know a new family. And I think in that sense, you know, the, not only the love and presence of God, but actually the experience that in the family is so helpful uh, for their healing. So it's our relationships with each other as well as our experience of God's love that can, be, that can become part of the healing process. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you for all that you do in Crofton Parish. Uh, thank you for listening today. Um, and I hope that you'll take the time to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and to listen to the other interviews uh, in this Be Well series. I hope that you know God's love and care for yourself and that you can discover what it means to be well in the love and grace of God.